Robert Payne and uh, this is a book review on Pursuing the Seasons of God by John Fenn. Uh, I'd just like to start this and say that there's three types of books that I read. Uh, there's a book that I start and I can't really get into. I try for a few chapters and I give up. Uh, those books I don't come back to. There's books that grab my interest fairly well and uh, I sort of stop and start through the book and sometimes I complete the whole book. Uh, if I've run out of books I come back to the book and eventually finish it. Then there's the books I pick up that grab me from the very first page and uh, I read it and it's a page turner and I finish the whole book. Uh, in, in one sitting or I just go to the toilet and have things to eat uh, in between reading and I just read it in one sitting. John's book was one like that, uh, one that I read in one sitting. Uh, I've read quite a few accounts of people who've met Jesus and met angels and uh, John talks about meeting Jesus quite a number of occasions and meeting angels and what they said and interacted with him he shares what happened and the lessons he learned but i feel that uh, john's motive is to teach us things and to reveal things to us rather than um, boasting about meeting jesus um, he describes what jesus and the angels say and he's always got a meaning behind his message and there's revelations that come uh, from Jesus uh, according to the different subjects that he's discussing in the book. Um, it's a very interesting book. It's one that, like I said, I read from cover to cover in one sitting. And uh, I took a few hours to read, but it was totally enjoyable for me. Um, I've got a history of uh, seeing visions for the last 13 years and meeting Jesus in visions and met Jesus in the flesh once or twice. Um, and uh, so I've got a history of meeting Jesus and seeing Jesus in visions and talking to him. And so it's always interesting for me to read uh, books by other people or see accounts by other people who've seen and interacted with Jesus. I'm always fascinated with hearing what Jesus has said to these people because it's always fascinating to talk to Jesus and it's always new and fresh the things he's got to say and because we're a body of believers because we are all part of a body and not everyone's the same Jesus has different messages that he shares with different people in the body so that we can all uh, function together as one whole unit so not everything Jesus says to me he says to other people and so uh, vice versa so um, people can learn from my experience and uh, people can learn from John's experience um, it's a tremendous book uh, I don't want to give anything away about the book but the sort of book that I wish was uh, 99 cents on Kindle so everyone would buy it but I bought it for 9.99 on Kindle it was well worth to purchase uh, very few books that I would consider reading twice. It has to be a good book for me to read twice, but I can see myself picking up this book time and time again and reading it uh, again and again um, because it's just so full of revelation knowledge, uh, knowledge that's been given to John direct from the Holy Spirit or direct from Jesus, and they're really valuable lessons. So um, I implore you uh, to uh, get yourself a copy of this book and read it. Perhaps it means more to me because I've had more experience with Jesus and angels, um, but I'm sure it's got a good message in it. It's got a tremendous message about God's will and how he directs us and how we need to obey the leadings of the Holy Spirit and how our lives can be messed up or things can go out of sync. Um, if uh, we don't obey the leadings of the Holy Spirit. Um, 
John uses his life as an example and is quite open in sharing the mistakes that he's made uh, during the process to illustrate his points and this is really humble of John. John seems to be a very humble man and is not afraid of sharing his mistakes with us in order to teach us something. So I commend you to it. God bless.